Hi, welcome to English A-Level here at Ilford Kim Academy. My name is Miss Walsh and I'm the Head of English. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the course that we offer because we offer the combined English Language and English Literature course, which means in essence you get the best of both worlds. You get the more serious literary study that you might take if you chose English Literature, but you still get to be creative, you get to do your own kinds of writing and actually develop your skills as a writer as well. Um, it's a fairly modern course, it's very new. The reason why we chose it is because it's an approach that was um, put together by AQA with some of the Russell Group universities looking at what they wanted their first year undergraduates to be able to do and so that's what's now in the A-level course that we teach here at the Academy. We use um, follow a range of quite interesting texts, quite diverse texts, so ranging from The Handmaid's Tale, the novel, not the series obviously, um, where we look at dystopian fiction, really interesting to be studying that at, at this time with everything that's going on in the world. Um, but we also studied the poetry of Robert Browning. So if you studied Porfiria's Lover, for example, or My Last Duchess for GCSE, it's, it's more fairly crazy people that you get to meet for uh, Robert Browning's poetry as well. Um, in year 13, we get to read Othello and study that, which is obviously our Shakespeare choice which has without doubt the nastiest character you will ever encounter in Shakespeare and you'll absolutely love him. Um, we also study The Great Gatsby and that's where you get chance to be a little bit more creative. It's not the usual academic study of the text where you read it and analyse it. What you actually have to do is look at an extract and then rewrite it from a completely different perspective. So you get chance to be creative at that point as well. There is a coursework unit, which is 20% of the final mark, and that is where you choose both a fiction and a non-fiction text, um, and you compare the two. I know that sounds really daunting, and you think, how on earth can you compare those? But trust me, over the course of year 12, we'll work on that so you'll know exactly what to do.